That curry is excellent. It's going to go so well with this roti. In this episode, we are going to highlight another Indian-influenced dish, a favorite to many locals and non-locals alike, a dish that is packed with rich, intense, and aroma-filled flavors. That roti is really good, especially bungee like this. You can still taste that char. It can be found in mamak and non-mamak stalls all over the country. A sure must eat to every food adventurer, Roti Chennai. It's the bite that dreams are made of right here. Three and a half years later, we are back. First time we're here, we came here twice in our 48 hour stay here in Penang, and we almost, almost missed our flight. So we first fell in love with Roti Chennai three and a half years ago, right here on Transfer Road. Watch the streets, watch all the bikes and the cars go by. Everyone's here. It's always busy every morning. So we gotta get here early. Here we have banjir, and this one has no banjir. The first time we had it, they were separated. Like the curry and the chicken, they were all separated, and we just have to banjir it ourselves. Take a sip of the curry first. That kick to it. All right, chicken first by itself. Mm. Curious to see how this roti tastes, bungee. Curious to see it's very spongy. Mm. It's perfect to absorb that curry. It's, you still taste a little bit of that char on the outside, which is nice, even though it's been bungeered and flooded with this curry. So the curry here is definitely more on the tomato-y flavor side. It's got a little heat to it, but it doesn't have a lot of like that cumin and other kind of like heavy aromatic spice. Definitely more on the tomato-y side. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut up some chicken and combine it with the roti. Go in for that mega bite that you know you gotta have when it comes to this. This one's just so sloppy, you can't eat it with your hands. As much as I would like to, my hands will be a disaster afterwards, so let's take a bite. Mm. Think of this, the roti is definitely the star. Chicken's good, it's not as rich as I remember it being. It's a little more a watery level curry, but that roti is really good, especially bungee like this, you can still taste that char. We're at the second roti tonight spot. This place was recommended to us by one of Penang locals. When we were eating at the Nasi Kandar Hamidia, he mentioned about this place, that this place is his favorite in Penang. Coming from a Penang native and local, of course, have to try it. Perfect. Thank you. Here's our beautiful plate of roti chanai. This one, no eggs, roti chanai. This one has Eggs. You put it in your center, we mix together. Oh. Uh, we got our chicken with curry and dal, and we were told to mix everything together. It would taste good, so we'll see about that. So we're here at Jalan Argyle Roti Chennai. So that's what's kind of cool about here. The two Roti Chennai spots you tried so far, they're named after the roads they're on. So you have the transfer road, the very famous one. Now we're here at Jalan Argyle, a very local spot. Dates back to 1955. Everyone's just so friendly. You're in the back, you see the guys making the roti by hand. It's so cool to watch. Everyone's just super friendly. We're really excited to get down to this. The curry alone looks really thick and rich, which I'm already very excited about. It's got that orange color. This, oh. this is the kind of curry that I love. I'm really excited to try this. I see curry leaves on here too. I'm gonna try this roti chennai first by itself first. Mm, it's got that nice kind of char smell already. Very flaky. Mmm. Oh, so good. So I like about this one, it's not very oily. And it's nice and flaky. It's got a little chew to it. Not too crispy. It's got some slight crispy bits on the outside, but I want to dip it first with this dal. Mmm. Very nice with that doll. The doll's kind of tame, not overly spiced. So without further ado, I'm gonna take a bite of it first. Mm. That curry is excellent. It's gonna go so well with the roti. 
The chicken is very nice and tender. It's got that rich kind of coconut milk. All the spices that you love in the chicken curry. Now I'm gonna dip it in. Get a nice soaking. This roti chanai and this curry is just a perfect pairing. It's, it's a magical combo right here. It works so well together. This is excellent. You have to come try Jalan Argyle. This is the spot to go to. Really good. This roti telur has like really nice tar on the outside. It has a good tar smell to it too. And they don't skimp on the eggs. I think I, we have two fried eggs in here. I'm gonna try have a bite of this roti telur. So thick. I see the egg white in here. Wow. I really appreciate how they separate everything. They just give you a plate of your curry separate and then your roti chanai separately. Maybe if you wanted banjir, you can ask them to banjir it. But we like no banjir because we want to appreciate everything and we also want to use our hands to dip and put it in our mouth. Roti Chennai Gamas Road. This Roti Chennai is flooded like banjir with lots of curry. I got we got the chicken, kambing. This is cheese and egg. Can't wait to have this. All right, go go Greg. All right, so this one, a very popular local favorite, Gamas Road. Really excited because I never see roti chanai with the fried egg on top and the cheese. A lot of times like you get the roti talor that has the egg inside, but this is a beautiful, perfect breakfast. You know it's lunch for us right now. The kambing looks so tender, it's already coming off the bone. Look at that. I even know where to start. I think I'm going to go and try to get a piece of the roti first. Banjir flooded with all this curry. Looks like there's also some dal in here too, some dal curry. The curry is so nice and thick, rich. Got spice to it, slight sweet, but more on the spicy side. Try a piece of the kambing. Super tender. You barely need to put stress on it with your teeth. It's gonna come right off. Now I'm gonna go and crack this egg. Mega bite right here. Gonna cut it all up. Cheese, egg, roti, kambing. Oh man, look at that. The dreams are made of right here. Oh, and it's falling apart already. Mm. Oh man, you get the spice, you get the creamy, a little sweet. I never would have actually ordered cheese on my own, but it's interesting and it works. That's another texture and flavor to it. Man, this is, you see why it's a local favorite. It's kind of a favorite of mine now too. It's so good. After all that roti chennai that we had, our favorite would be this one, Gimas Road yeah. Roti Chennai. They're all kind of different in their own ways. Uh, roti Chennai Jalan Argyle as well, that one's delicious. Uh, sadly, Roti Chennai Transfer Road, the really popular, famous, it just did not live up to what we had had three years ago. We don't like to be negative really at all in these videos, but we just had to point this out because it's such a popular place and you might want to visit it when you come here, but we're going to recommend highly you come to one of these two local spots or both. They're locals favorites for a reason, and this just proves why. Also, if you want, you can try Transfer Road, and then you can come here, and then you can come to the other spot that we yeah. highlighted. And it's see for yourself, but you can also do the three or more things your own way. If you want to try more Roti Chennai, it's up to you. Yeah. And man, I am so stuffed. <laughs> Roti Chennai is so good. 
Uh, it is a must here in Malaysia or in Penang whenever you come. Please do not skip Roti Chennai. Do not skip Nasi Kandar. Do not skip all the noodles. <laughs> Literally do not skip all the food that they tell you to try because it is so good.